Hey there guys, Buddy here. So let's quickly go through the Dubai Trade Port IDZ. So firstly, what is the Dubai Trade Port IDZ? The Dubai Trade Port IDZ is a major industrial development zone located at King Shaka International Airport in KwaZulu Natal. It forms part of the larger Dubai Trade Port Special Economic Zone, also known as SEZ, and it focuses on high value manufacturing, air freight logistics, agribusiness and fresh produce export, as well as technology and electronics. It is designed to boost KwaZulu Natal's economy by providing world class facilities for companies that produce goods for local and international markets. Now, the Dubai Trade Port IDZ is going to be located north of Durban in La Mercy, and that's going to be directly adjacent to the King Shaka International Airport, which makes it very strategically positioned along the N2 corridor. So, what are some factors that are going to influence the location of the Dubai Trade Port IDZ? Firstly, you're going to have the proximity to the King Shaka International Airport. Now, this IDZ has immediate access to air cargo services. Because remember, being right next to the airport means that goods can easily come in and go out of the country. And as the next point states, it will allow for faster export and import turnaround times. Secondly, would be the access to major transport routes. So this IDZ is going to be located along the N2 National Road, connecting Durban to the rest of KZN and South Africa. Now because this is going to be a major highway, it's going to allow for the fast movement of goods between the IDZ and other parts of KwaZulu Natal or the country. It will also have easy access to road freight and distribution networks. Thirdly, this IDZ is going to be located close to the port of Durban. So we need to understand that the Durban Harbour is going to be one of Africa's busiest ports. So that means that this port is going to handle huge amounts of cargo every single year and that's going to make it a major gateway for imports and exports. It's going to support efficient movement of goods between sea, air and land. We then have the availability of large open land and because there's going to be the availability of large open land, it means that there will be space for future expansion and development. And that will provide room for warehouses, factories and logistic hubs. We then have your stable, reliable infrastructure. Now remember the Dubai Trade Port IDZ is going to have modern utilities, fiber optic communication, water supply and electricity. And that's going to be built specifically for your high tech and logistics industries. We then have your government support and incentives. So this IDZ is going to be backed by your national and your provincial government. So that means that if you are going to have your strong government involvement, this IDZ is going to become much more attractive to investors. The businesses in this IDZ are going to have access to tax benefits and investment support programs. And lastly, we have your skilled labor availability. So this IDZ is going to be nearby to Durban, Amlazi, Phoenix and other urban areas that are going to supply a wide labor pool. And remember this wide labor pool is going to include different jobs such as technicians, drivers, packers, even IT specialists. So what are the main industrial activities taking place at the Dubai Trade Port IDZ? So firstly, you're going to have your high value manufacturing and that's going to include things like your electronics assembly, which is basically just putting together your electronic goods like your phones. You then have your medical devices like your surgical tools or your hospital machinery. You have your automotive components, which will also be your car parts. And you then have your high-tech industrial production, which will include manufacturing through the use of modern technology and precision engineering. Secondly, we have logistics and warehousing. We have your air freight handling, which are going to be goods that are going to be packaged and loaded directly onto an aircraft for your fast export. We can have your distribution sensors, which are going to be your um, your large warehouses that are going to store your products and we have your cold storage facilities. Now remember these cold storage facilities are going to protect your sensitive goods like your fruit, your vegetables or medicine. We then have your agriculture and your agri-processing which is going to include your hydroponic farming 
your fresh produce packing and your perishable goods export. So your hydroponic farming is just going to be plants that are going to be grown in water instead of soil. But this water is going to be full of nutrients. And remember when we're talking about your fresh produce packing, we're talking about your fruit and vegetables that are going to be washed. It's then going to be sorted and it's going to be packed. And in terms of your perishable goods export, remember because this IDZ is going to be so close to an airport, it means that you can export these goods very quickly. Right, because remember your fruits and vegetables are going to spoil quickly. We have your ICT and technology. So this includes your data centers, your ICT infrastructure development and your tech innovation hubs. So in terms of data centers, these are just going to be buildings that are going to store and process your digital information. And in terms of your tech innovation hubs, those are going to be spaces where apps are going to be developed, your softwares are going to be developed. We then have your pharmaceuticals and health products. So within this IDZ, there's going to be the packaging and production of your pharmaceuticals. There's going to be the storage of temperature sensitive medicines. Remember, we already mentioned that this IDZ is going to have your specialized cold rooms. Now, these cold rooms are going to keep your vaccines and your medical supplies all safe and effective. We have your electronics and your telecoms equipment. So that's going to be your assembly, your packaging and your export of your electronics. And lastly, we can have your aerospace linked services. So that's going to be your aviation support industries and your air cargo operation. Now, when we're talking about your aviation support industries, we're talking about the businesses that are going to provide equipment or maintenance to your aircrafts. So let's take a look at the factors that are going to favor the development of the Dubai trade port IDZ. So firstly, it would be the strategic location. So positioned next to the King Shaka International Airport, it's going to enable fast air freight transport. Because we already mentioned that being so close to the airport is going to allow for your goods to be quickly brought in and quickly sent out. It's going to be close to your Durban Harbour, which is South Africa's busiest port, making export and import easier. We have world-class infrastructure, so we have modern cargo terminals, we have cold storage facilities, we have your logistics parks, and we have your high-tech buildings. Now, this IDZ is also going to have your reliable utilities, such as electricity, water, fiber optics, and advanced communication systems. So this is going to be an efficient transport network, which will provide direct access to major highways, such as the N2 and R102, improving national and regional distribution. So that just means that products can be quickly transported to suppliers, factories and markets all across South Africa. Now, because this IDZ is going to be designated as a special economic zone, there are going to be incentives that are going to be offered and there will be tax benefits to investors. Remember, these incentives are going to reduce your business costs, right? And it will also attract your international companies to invest within this IDZ. We have your availability of skilled labor. Remember this IDZ is going to have access to Durban and the surrounding areas for skilled and semi-skilled workers. And that's because your nearby communities are going to provide a large workforce. We have your access to agricultural regions. Now this IDZ is going to be close to KZN's farming areas, supporting agri-processing and perishable exports. And lastly, we have your modern business environment. Now this IDZ is going to have high security, it's going to be clean, it's going to be well managed and all of these factors are going to be ideal for global businesses. But what are some factors that are going to hinder the development of the Dubai trade port IDZ? Firstly, there's going to be high development and operating costs. So advanced infrastructure requires large financial investment. Now remember, in order to build these world-class facilities, so things like your cold storage, things like your data centers, all of this is going to be extremely expensive. And that means that the cost in order to operate within the zone is going to be very high. And because there's going to be such high setup costs, that's going to discourage your smaller businesses from entering the zone. So that means that only large companies can afford to establish themselves in this area. Secondly, we have your limited local market size. 
so KZN's consumer base is smaller compared to Gauteng, which is going to reduce your market demand. We have your distance from your major industrial regions. Now this IDZ is going to be far from Gauteng, which is South Africa's main manufacturing center. And because this IDZ is going to be so far away, that's going to reduce its access to suppliers and customers. We then have your competition with other SEZs and IDZs. Now your Dubai Trade Port IDZ is going to compete with Coega, it's going to compete with the East London IDZ, your Soldana Bay IDZ and your Gauteng SEZs for investment. Investors may choose zones offering lower costs. Now remember if another SEZ is going to offer cheaper electricity or better tax benefits, then a company is going to choose that zone instead. We have limited rail capacity. So rail transport in KZN is unreliable and underdeveloped, forcing heavy reliance on road transport. Now this is all going to increase the pressure on highways and it's going to slow down your delivery times. There's also going to be your skills shortages. Now while labor is available, there may be shortages in high tech or specialized skills required by advanced industries. Remember when you're talking about industries like your electronics or your pharmaceuticals, you have to have a wide knowledge base in order to work in those industries. And now when companies need to import these skills, hiring these international experts is going to be very expensive. And lastly, we have your environmental regulations. So strict environmental rules around the airport and coastal ecosystems can slow down development. So any development or construction that's going to happen near the coast or the aviation zone is going to require your detailed environmental impact assessments, right? And our next point says that requirements for assessments and sustainability compliance is going to increase your costs and your time. But what are the economic impacts of the Dubai Trade Port IDZ? Firstly, we can have your job creation, right? So the Dubai Trade Port IDZ is going to create thousands of direct and indirect jobs in logistics, agriculture, manufacturing and aviation related services. So basically your IDZ is not going to only employ people within the zone. It's also going to create work for your suppliers, for your transport companies and your farmers as well. Secondly, we have your attraction of foreign and local investment and it's going to bring in billions in private investment. Because remember your investors are going to be attracted by your tax incentives. Not only your tax incentives, but your modern infrastructure as well. Thirdly, it will boost exports and trade. So the IDZ increases export of high value goods such as electronics, perishables, pharmaceuticals and automotive components. Remember, these are all going to be your high value products, which will earn a lot of money for the economy. We have the development of high tech and innovative sectors, which is then going to stimulate growth in advanced manufacturing, agro processing and ICT. This IDZ is going to lead to the expansion of the provincial economy. Remember the Dubai Trade Port IDZ is going to strengthen KwaZulu-Natal's GDP contribution. And it's going to promote growth in logistics, transport, agribusiness and manufacturing industries. We could have improved infrastructure. So development around Kinshaka International Airport spurred new roads, fiber networks, water systems and electricity upgrades. And remember, this is not only going to benefit the IDZ, but it's also going to benefit the wider region and it's going to improve your service delivery. And now let's look at the social impacts of the Dubai Trade Port IDZ. So firstly, there will be job opportunities for local communities. Now the IDZ is going to provide employment in manufacturing, logistics, agriculture and services. It's going to reduce unemployment in surrounding towns like Le Mercy and Amschlange. Secondly, we have your skills development, which is going to offer training and upskilling for your local workers. And that's going to allow the workers to gain new abilities, which is going to in turn help them to earn more money. We have improved infrastructure. So roads, electricity and communication networks are going to improve living conditions in nearby areas. Remember these roads are going to enhance your accessibility to schools to clinics and to towns along the corridor. We have urban and residential development and that's going to lead to the growth of 
housing, shopping centers, and community facilities around the IDZ. And lastly, you could have the increased standard of living. So higher employment and better paying jobs are going to improve your household income. So remember your workers are going to gain new abilities, right? And that's going to make them more employable, which will in turn help them earn higher incomes. 